All right, here we are back with the second part, the continuation of doing the homework. Number 11. We have f of x equals 4 times the square root of x minus 3. Well, the basic function is the square root of x. This is a vertical stretch because the 4 is multiplying the square root of x and it's a number greater than 1. And then this minus 3 at the end, not under the function, but at the end is um, a vertical shift down three units. So start the graph with h of x equals the square root of x. Then do something by a factor of. Stretch it vertically by a factor of four. Finally, shift it down three units. Check. Got it. Now we have, now we have a hard one. The absolute value of X. But it's not just the absolute value of X. That's the basic function. But our transformed function is one third times in one third times x, and we're taking the absolute value of one third times x. That means all of the x coordinates are being divided by one third, which makes them bigger. Therefore, this is a horizontal stretch. And then after that horizontal stretch, the graph goes vertically down two units. All right, we're going to start with the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. And then we are going to stretch it horizontally by dividing each x coordinate by one third. Then shift it down two units. Okay, remember you can Backtrack this. Here we have a transformation of x squared. OK, that's our basic function. Start with the graph of y equals x squared. Now, it's talking about a shift. The only kind of shift See the word shift it? Shift it, it's going to be down four units. Down four units. No! What did I do? Go to sleep. Shift it right. Four units. There you go. And then do something to it. Either stretch it or shrink it. This is going to be a vertical stretch. If this one half were inside the parentheses in front of X, it would be a horizontal stretch, but it's not. It's a proper fraction outside the argument. So this is a vertical shrink 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 it vertically by multiplying each y coordinate by one half
and then reflect it across the x-axis. That negative sign reflects the graph across the x-axis. Notice I didn't say negative one half. That's because the negative sign and the one half perform different jobs. Very good. Here we have X squared again. This time we're going to the right five units. We're going up three units and we're reflecting across the X axis. So shift it right five. Right there. Then reflect it across the X axis and then shift it up three units. Now these require some thought. There are, I believe, three of them. You're not told what the function is. This says negative one half times F parentheses X minus one. And then close the parentheses and then plus three. The argument of F is X minus one. And then on the outside of the argument, you have a negative one half and a plus three. The negative one half and the plus three all deal with vertical movement. The argument always only deals with horizontal movement. X minus one is a horizontal shift of one to the right. This one half is a vertical shrink. The negative is a reflection across the X axis and the plus three is a vertical shift up three units. It's like learning a language. So let, we're going to have to read all of these. Horizontal shrink? No. So A is out. B, I'm not ready to settle for none of the above. C, a reflection across the Y axis? No. D, a reflection across the X axis? Yes. A vertical shrink, yes. A horizontal shift, one to the right, yes. And a vertical shift up, yes. Our answer is D. Okay. I think this is the same problem, don't you? But let's see. We have a horizontal shift one to the right. We have a vertical shift up three. We have a vertical shrink of, uh, of, of a factor of one half. And then we have a reflection across the X axis. Now let's check, check this out. Reflection across X axis, vertical shrink, horizontal shift to the right, vertical shift up. Woo! -hoo! Okay, now finally. Describe how the graph of the following function can be obtained from the graph of F of X. Well, F of X has endured a horizontal shift to the right two units, a vertical shrink by a factor of one fourth, and a horizontal, uh, 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 a vertical shift up one. 
So let's see, shift to the left? No. Both A and B both say shift to the left. No. Now, C and D both say shift to the right. So, and a vertical shrink, ah, by a factor of one fourth and a shift up one. It's C, because look, D says a vertical stretch. It's not a stretch, it's, it's a vertical shrink. Ooh, excuse me. That's it. We are done with the homework and I hope this helps you. This is actually video five in a set of four videos because I had to cut the fourth video in half before it got too large or too long. So enjoy transformations and best of luck to you.